Hello guys, I hope wherever you're watching us from, you are having a great time. This is Afri Post and welcome to today's video. Now, would you believe if I told you that this person is black and this other person is white? I know many of you may think that I'm running mad or something, but I want us to watch the videos where they were interviewed and they gave their opinions and their perceptions about who they are and how they identify. Let's watch this, then react to it at the end. You might not look black, but you got the black blood into you. Well, my name is Roberta Jeanette Orler but I go by Bert for a nickname. I've lived here all my life. On my job that I had worked at, they took me to be white. And my best friend, she uh, took me to be white. She was shocked when I told her I'm not white. I am black. I am a black person. And it was, well, you're, you're not that. You think you are. No, I know I am. I was raised that way. But I was also raised, as mom would say, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. We all serve one God. Now, as you know, this is my home. Over here is my daughter's home, Jessica. Everybody else in here, we're all kin folks. That's how this community got to be mixed with white and black. It was from the black children. Our children going out marrying white and bringing them in. A lot of them was as light as I am, but we still said we were black. And then we had some real dark ones, but that's okay. They were black, we were black. So that's how this all got started. My grandma, she was half Turk, half black. My grandpa was a white man. My mom registered me as black. My mom was a, she wasn't as fair complected as I am. She was a, light tan brown. My dad, he has German, Irish, white. Well, his mother was a white woman. His dad was a colored man. And then as I grew older and I got married and I had my children, I registered my children as black. I have found that stone that was here now. Most of them in this area goes as black. We've got maybe two, three families that considers themselves being white. But the rest of us in here, we consider ourselves being black. You know this country is precious, always have been, and it never will grow out of it. I was in the service in 66. The I circle, black, Negro. He said, you can't circle that. I said, that's what I am. Well, he kind of smiled, and he said, uh, circle this. I said, okay, which meant Caucasian. I didn't show my collar, but I know what I was. And I ain't going to tell you about my race. My mom raised me as Negroes. Oh, I had a lot of people ask me, say, why did your mom raise you as a Negro? I said, that's what I am. They said, yeah, but you don't show it. I said, it's going to come a time where white won't accept you. And the Negroes will accept you. I said, I'll, I'll wait it out. <laughs> it's about all you can do. He'll shout the victorious. And he'll break through the blue. Yes, yes. Some golden day break for me and for you. Amen. Growing up, I was always taught that I was black. I started into school and um, didn't really think much about it until I got into the elementary, I'm gonna say around about third or fourth grade. That's when I started noticing the difference. I started noticing I was being taught that I was black, but I didn't look black. Um, other children didn't view me as black. Even some of those other kids made fun of me because why are you saying you're black when you're white? It wasn't until I reached about junior high and then I realized I'm white, that is what I am. Yes, I know I was raised black and was told I was black, but I am white. What black person has blonde hair, blue eyes, and fair complected and can hardly tan besides burning? I'm white. You don't have to look black I tell to be black. I know she don't look black, but she has got black in her, she's right. She's got a lot of different kind in her, but, I am her mother. I stand on the black. 
she did not stand. Only for so long of a time she stood, as for Black. When she got into school, into Waverly School, she let the people in Waverly change her thinking, her feeling. I didn't. I still stood for what I was, what my mother told me I was. I didn't care what I had to go through. I still stood for it. When I finally made the decision to go as white, I did feel guilty about it. It did, in a way, break my heart. It's nothing against my family, and it doesn't mean that I don't like black people or love black people or care for black people. I do. And like I told her, I can't be racist, and I know that, and I would never want to be, even if, even if I chose to be. I couldn't. I don't. Five year old white man. Harrison, born Antoine Smalls, has transracial identity, identifying as Harrison Booth, a 35-year-old white man from Colorado. And when did you know that you were a 35-year-old white man? Well, I've always felt different. Uh, I go to the store, the movies, and just be thinking to myself, like, why am I not getting the respect I deserve? Mm -hmm. And then it just hit me. I'm white and 35. I just miss Colorado sometimes, you know? Here, I pretend the buildings are the old San Juan mountain range, but, you know, the job's just here. And where do you work? I'm a systems engineer for Coca-Cola. Oh, OK. That boy don't work. He go to school, and that's it. <laughs> One day, he said, call me Harrison. I said, who's that? He said, me. Do you believe that he is a white man? I mean, he isn't. Mm. I'd love to wake up one day and say, hey, everybody, I'm Rihanna. But I ain't. It's been pretty hard. My family just doesn't get it. You know, I try to get them to go out with me, go on walks, go to the farmer's market, chat with people, but yeah. So why don't you think that they get it? I don't think they get it because they don't realize that race is just a made-up thing. Mm -hmm. They grew up having labels, and me, I'm, I'm just not like that. I see. So how do you embrace your identity? I dress a certain way, Patagonia. I wear a thick brown leather belt. I like to envision myself after the surgery. <clears throat> hey, excuse me, what IPA do you have on tap? Hey, did you see Game of Thrones last night? Yeah. So your your surgery, that's later this year? Right. I started working at Stonecrest Mall, so hopefully by then I have enough money to take the next step. So you work at Coca-Cola and the mall? Right. Correct. I work at both. Harrison has been planning a full racial transition with the Dr. Samuel Vergara, who guarantees Harrison can visually transition through an experimental procedure that will allow Harrison to not only be a white man, but whatever race he chooses. The procedure's absolutely 100% possible. He's gonna look weird, though. But before Harrison can fully realize his physical identity, he still has the day-to-day -day that's filled with discrimination and ridicule. It's pretty awful, you know? You, you walk in the streets and black people, they see you, they're nodding to you like, hey, good to see us. And it's, it's to the point where I've just given up. I've stopped trying to convince them that I'm not us. Gotcha. Excuse me, this is definitely the guy. He doesn't even live in the area. I've never seen him before. I think we're taking slow strides. But you have to believe things are getting better, otherwise you'll just die inside. Is there anything you'd like to say to other black kids out there who may be going through the same thing? Just be you at all costs. But also, stop dressing so crazy. Now, before I say anything about the videos that you've just watched, what do you really think is going on there? Do you support the assertion that those in the first video are black people? Or what is your opinion about it? Before I say anything deeply about what is going on there. And then, and then to our black brother there, he's a school-going kid but claims that he's a 35-year-old white man. What could really be the issue here? Because for me, I looked at him, I watched the video, and I was totally surprised of what's going on there. But when it comes to the white people, who claim to be black there, I tend to agree with them to a certain extent because the area they live in is a place where there has been a lot of mixed races where blacks and whites mixed together, they gave birth to their offsprings who have appeared to be Caucasians. So this has really led to them having a certain percentage of black blood in them. So it is very difficult to find people like them who cannot take advantage of the white majority in the United States and use it to get access to the privileges that white people can get 
you know, identifying as a black person tends to really predispose you to certain discrimination and other things. But I believe it is just a choice issue here because even if you look at it, most people do not have that belief that these people are black. I don't know what you think about this. It's really an interesting discussion that we should have together. If you're watching us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and also share. Please also give us your opinion down in the comment section so that we may also understand your perspective about the topic. Thank you and may the good Lord bless you. Goodbye.